good evening dear children the today's question in discussion is write a program in java to accept 20 integer numbers in a single dimensional array and to display only the elements which are prime so create an integer array of 20 elements and display only the elements or the numbers which are prime in that 20 elements that is what the aim of this pro program is let us move to the program let us create a class array prime num within this class create the main method public static void main and string argus we are going to accept uh, the numbers uh, to be stored into the array as input from the user so you want to get this numbers as input so you can use scanner uh, methods uh, since they are easy to uh, write so you can use the scanner methods so if you want to use the scanner methods to accept inputs from the user you want to declare an object of the scanner so scanner space in is equal to new scanner of system dot in but if you want to use the methods of scanner the scanner class should be imported in your program so let us import the package uh, that contains the scanner so util package contains a scanner class so let us import the scanner class uh, that means the util package that contains a scanner class so import java dot util dot star now we have to declare the array that is that is going to be processed so as the question says you have to declare an integer array of 20 elements so integer and uh, let us assume the name of the array is m opening square bracket closing square bracket is equal to new integer then again in square brackets you can mention the size of the array as per the question we have to give the size 20 now this array can hold 20 integer numbers now let us give a small description to the user to enter 20 integer elements as input so system dot out dot print element enter 20 integers as input now if you want to accept 20 integers as input you cannot write individual statements uh, to assign numbers or values to each and every element so it will consume 20 statements to avoid that you can go for a for loop that will execute 20 times uh, of getting the input from the user so let us write a for loop so for then we require a looping variable so let us assume that the looping variable is i and its data type is integer so integer i is the looping variable and the looping variable denotes the index of the array elements the first index of any array is 0 so the looping variable's initial value is 0 then since this uh, looping this loop will execute uh, for all the elements in the array there are 20 elements so it can execute 20 times so already the initial value of the looping variable is 0 now we can go till 19 but 19 can be obtained uh, like this so i less than or equal to 19 this is one way of writing this condition uh, otherwise you can go till less than 20 so less than 20 the number less than 20 is 19 right or otherwise less than or equal to 19 then i plus plus right now let us accept the input from the user so you can use a method that can accept integer numbers as input which is a member of the scanner class so which scanner class method is capable of accepting integer numbers from the user is next int method so next int next int is actually the member method of the scanner class and it's it's actually uh, it can be called using the object of the scanner which is already defined in this program that is int 
Now it will get the value from the user and it will take it as integer and it will assign it to the corresponding index in that particular array. So the index of the array is actually defined by the looping variable i. So it starts from 0 and is going till 19, less than 20, that means 19, right? So m is the name of the array. Within set of square brackets, you have to mention the subscript or the index of the element. Here the index of the element in the loop is mentioned uh, by using the variable or looping variable i. So m of i is equal to n dot next state and the statement ends with a semicolon. Now we got the array as input. Now we have to process it. What is the processing? We have to take every element from that array and we want to check it whether, whether it is a prime number or not. If it is a prime number, then we can go for uh, printing it. So what is a prime number? Okay, what is the prime number property? A number that is having more than, uh, sorry, the number that is having exactly two factors. That means that the number one and the number itself. If only two factors are there for any number, then that number can be considered as the prime number. So we have to uh, take a number, we have to take a number, uh, that means an, an array element and we have to check whether it is a prime number or not by dividing it by number from 1 till the number and have a count of the factors and if the number of factors, that means the count is exactly 2, then you can say that that particular number is a prime number. So to process each and every element in that array, let us write a for loop again. So for integer j, let us assume the looping variable is actually j of type integer is equal to 0. So because it has to process each and every element in that array, so it has to execute 15 times, 20 times uh, since there are 20 elements. So it has to start from 0 and it has go till 19, that means less than 20, 19, then j plus plus, right. Now this will uh, carry out this processing on every array element, right. And how to check whether the number is a prime number or not, take that number and start dividing that number from 1 and go till that number. And uh, if, if the number of factors is actually exactly 2, then you can say the number is a prime number. So let us go for the factors. So for integer, for example, let us take k as a as a variable that denotes the factors. Okay. So integer k and the first factor for any number is one. Okay. So k is equal to one, and uh, we can go till that number. Okay. That number means here we are processing that particular array element. Okay. We are processing that particular array element. Right, so that array element can be identified using uh, the variable uh, identified by the variable actually uh, j. J is actually going from zero till uh, the last index of the array. That means 19. So j is denoting the array element. So until it is from one, the first factor is one, and the last factor is uh, the number itself. So the number we are processing is actually the number itself that array element itself, so m of j, right? Then k plus plus, right? Now what we want to do is, let us divide that number m, let us divide that number m of j by the looping variable k and if you are getting the remainder 0 then that number k is the factor the number k is the factor to m of j the number k is the factor to m of j so let us check it so if the number divided by k is equal to equal to 0 then what we can do is we can have a count of the factor that means this k is a count for this m of j Right, so we can have a count for this k or the count for this uh, number of factors. So let us take it as count, then plus plus, increment the count by one. But this count should be declared in prior in the program, and its initial value should be zero because 
in 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 any programming program if you are going to use a particular variable as a count variable and it is going to be used as a summation variable in future its initial value should be zero okay right count is zero okay so now uh, for every number from 1 till that number we are dividing and we are checking whether it is giving remainder 0 if it is, it is giving remainder 0 then count that means the number of factors that count is incremented by 1 and we are checking we are checking whether for every every element of that array uh, of j okay that means m of j we are checking whether that number of factors count is equal to equal to 2 if the count is exactly 2 there are two only two factors for that number so it's a prime number so let us display system dot out dot print ln display that number that number is actually m of j the number is actually m of j okay right but what is an important thing is this count is actually denoting the count is actually denoting the number of factors for every individual element of the array so once the number of factors of the current element in that array is identified then you have to go for the number of factors for the next element right so before going for the number of factors of the next element you have to reinitialize this count to zero okay right so that it will be ready for uh, no having the number of factors of the next element right so this is what actually you have to do okay uh, and let us uh, let us compile the program and the program is syntax error free okay now we can go for executing the program so in the 20 integer numbers as input so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, then 20. Now you see the elements which are prime are displayed here. The elements which are prime are displayed here so out of 20 first 20 numbers only these are the prime numbers uh, in that array okay right so now um, we can give a small additional description in this that is uh, before printing the numbers uh, we can we can uh, give a small description right system dot out dot print ln the prime numbers are right now let us compile it again okay and uh, let us clear the screen first right and run the program one more time Let us give the inputs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You see, now it is displaying the proper description that the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7 11 13 17 and 19 i hope that you understood this program's logic and let us meet in the next next video with another program thank you